Tonight, I'd like to uh, give a brief COVID update. First of all, let's review the numbers. Uh, today, we had 5,361 positive tests for COVID. That's up 771 from last week. That's up 17%. We had 1,857 active cases. That's up 393 from last week. We have uh, 2,617 individuals overall that have recovered. And we currently have 37 uh, individuals in hospital as patients. That's up 14 uh, from uh, last week. And then unfortunately, we saw more deaths this week. We had 31 total deaths. That's up from 24. That's up uh, seven, rather 30% uh, just in one week. The negative test total is 30,715. And that's up from 1,099 from last week. The Wisconsin National Guard testing site uh, last week completed 279 tests on Wednesday and 223 tests on Friday. Sheboygan County will continue to have community testing through the Wisconsin National Guard on Wednesdays and Fridays at the Sheboygan County Aging and Disability Resource Center in Sheboygan Falls through December 9th. There will be no testing, however, on Wednesday, November 11th for Veterans Day and Friday, November 27th for Thanksgiving holiday. If you are referring someone to this site, please ask them to pre-register at a website called register.covidconnect.wi.gov. Uh, the traffic uh, at that site usually slows down substantially beginning at noon, and the uh, wing comes prepared with 450 tests each time. Healthcare systems update, Aurora has the highest census since March 16th. Uh, their bed unit is filled and a secondary unit has a handful of patients. And also the other challenge that our hospitals are having is their staff is uh, getting sick from COVID and is sitting out. And they currently have 33 team members that are out uh, on, on, uh, on qual um, quarantine. Visitor restrictions still are in place and uh, they continue to pre-test uh, elective procedures. At St. Nicholas Hospital, they've seen the highest number of cases as well. It's putting stress on their ICU. They're managing, but it's definitely hour by hour. And they, again, are also doing elective cases with pre-screening. Sheboygan activity level is very high. It's strongly recommended uh, community actions are to avoid going places where safety measures are not in place, to wash your hands and use hand sanitizer, to always wear a mask in public, to disinfect frequently and use items and surfaces as much as possible. And if you're sick, stay home, do not go to work, school or any other public place and follow the advice of your medical provider.